So we've cleansed, we have the toner, and then the, what do we do? Repair it or prevent it? What's kind of our routine? Actually, yeah. I'm gonna skip or okay. the repair it okay. first. <laughs> the reason why is because I always suggest to people you always put your eye cream on before you put your face cream. Okay. And the reason mm -hmm. why is because your eye cream is very, um, it's designed, there's smaller molecules in an eye cream than there is in a face cream because the area around your eye is so delicate. So the lip and eye cream can be used on your upper lip. You don't want to put it on the pink of your lips, but you want to use it on your upper lip because you, you know when you wake up in the morning and your whole face is like super <laughs> puffy? If you put it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you want, it's going to reduce the inflammation here. You reduce your inflammation of your lips, above your lip, and then your actual lips are going to appear fuller. And so if you use it around your eyes too, allergy season, morning and night, like I love, 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 love this eye cream. I've never noticed a difference with any other store brand eye cream than I have with this one. And that's 10 years of being an esthetician. I'm not joking, I've never, I've used professional skincare since I was, six, since I was 16 and let's pretend I'm only 24. But for a long time, I've never used anything that's worked. And this one, I actually noticed a difference in the dark circles in like even around here, up, I use it up on my lid. It doesn't cause my makeup to crease. Another thing I like, and women, you can also use it here. You can use it out to your temples if you want, if you find that you get a few crow's feet. So it can be used, and always use it on your ring finger. Your ring finger has the weakest muscles in your hand. So you put it on like this, up and around, and you can do your lip. You don't need to like, Put it on your face, just be gentle, pat it in, okay. and then you put on your moisturizer. So, love this stuff. <laughs> Seriously, and I also have been known that if I've had one of those days that there may have been some tears, puffiness, allergies, whatever, this was my moisturizer. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, I wouldn't suggest it all the time because the bottle's little, but it's really great, really, really great. So, always do your eye cream first because you're gonna go outside the boundaries of where you're gonna to put it, and a little bit extra is not a big deal. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to either the Prevenage or the Repairage. Prevenage is designed as a day cream. Repairage is designed as a night cream. They can be used interchangeably. So if someone has drier skin, I would actually suggest the Repairage for sure, for sure, every single night. And the Prevenage absolutely can be used during the day, but if you need to, you can actually layer or you can use, you know, Repairage during the day, Prevenage at night. Um, Prevenage is extremely high in vitamins and the vitamins in that are also going to protect your skin. So it is higher in vitamins for nutrition for the skin, for younger skin to help maintain it. So daytime you need nutrition and it's also gonna help prevent free radical damage, which is basically when a free-floating oxygen, oxygen molecule steals another oxygen molecule from your face, causing uh, free radical damage, which causes us to age. The repairage, or sorry, the preventage is going to help prevent that and help prevent sunscreens from absorbing into our skin because you want sunscreen to sit on your skin, not absorb into it. So preventage for day, amazing. It is a light, it's a gel. Um, that's actually one my husband uses. And I love the Repairage because I used to bake in a tanning bed for a long time. And this is going to help fade sunspots. It's going to help repair and um, heal the skin. The nutrients in here are designed for, I'm gonna say more mature, but it's more of recovery. Preventage, just like the name is to prevent, and repair is to repair any damage. So sunspots, more mature skin, and then if they want just one, go Repairage. Um, 16 to 30, if they want just one moisturizer, I'd go Prevenage and 25 plus for this guy, if there is skin damage. Um, would that be good for scars? I would actually suggest the stretch mark cream for scars. Okay. So, yes, but I, you know what, I love both of these. I really, really do. Um, I've used a lot of like Dermalogica, Skin Door, you name it. Mm -hmm. I find that they're overpriced and they're under, they're underdeveloped. I just find that they're not a quality that I'm looking for for the value. Like these are not expensive and this lasts me a long time and I'm kind of a junkie when it comes to my skincare. <laughs> and you don't need a lot. That's the other thing. Like mm -hmm. literally eye cream, you need like that much for both eyes. Like it 
tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Um, and you can, if you need to, do a pick me up during the day. You can, oh, I like this one, it's very slippery. <laughs> you can literally just put some on and put it right over top of your makeup. I won't blink about doing that. And I've taken pictures of people where I have them do their left eye. Five minutes later, I take a picture and you can literally see their skin has smoothed out and the other side still looks the same. And they're going, does that actually look? Yes, amazing. <laughs> so at a wrap party, always have them take your eye cream, do the left eye, just the left eye, and then snap the picture. It's close, and you can see the difference. And then send them home. Yeah, <laughs> and, then do it the other and then they'll be like, I need to eat it. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's 